Good afternoon from me, Jill, and Evie, my little dog here. Today it's an energetic flow practice called Brush Away the Cobwebs, followed by a nice relaxing leg stretch. So please make sure you have a, a strap with you, a yoga strap or any sort of strap will do, a tie will do. And we'll start. So starting at the front of your mats, I'll face you so you can see me, you're at the front of your mats, facing the short ends. Take your left hand on your heart and your right hand on top. And we're going to breathe in. Look back at your right hand. Right hand slides underneath left. Just moving from the waist, rolling that shoulder back, looking back at the left palm, come to the front. That's it. This is called catch a wave. Let's go to the right. And to the left, just moving from the waist and hold it there. Bend the knees. I'm mirroring you. Step your left leg back and we'll open up to Virabhadrasana 2. Virabhadrasana 2. Really reach your arm from the centre, just like this stretching from your heart centre. And sink a little bit lower. Check that knees over the ankle and not pronating inwards. And straighten the front leg and come a little bit deeper into this. Turn the palms up and soften the shoulders. Take a wider stance if you need to. And sink down through strong legs, good foot alignment. Let's hold for three more breaths. One, ujjayi breath if you know it, that supple throaty breath. Two. Three, well done. I'm going to move in this. I'm going to move from reverse warrior into warrior two. So with the in breath, you reverse your warrior. With the out breath, you sink down a bit deeper. We breathe into two. We sink down a bit deeper. Palm comes up with the in breath and you move again. On the out breath, make a little bit more space through the right side of the body. Breathe into two, push down through the palms. Palm comes up as you next breathe in and find your reverse warrior. Breathe out, make it a bit juicier. Maybe slide that left hand down the back leg. Breathe in as you move. We've got two more of these. Get a nice flow with your practice. Breathe out, the palm comes up. Breathe in and over you go. No, I'm just moving out of the waist. I haven't moved my legs at all. The knee is still over the ankle. Breathe out, soften. And let's hold it here. Let's reverse the warrior. And you can look up or you can look down. See if you can make a little bit more space there. That back leg's beautifully strong. The knee's soft, but you're drawing up through the thigh. If this gets too much, on the lower back, here on the left side, just push down with the hand, shoulders down the back, as much back bend as is right for you, create. So you can really make some space through the right ribs. Three more breaths, keep the breath flowing. One. Breathe out slowly, two. And breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly. I'm going to flow now. Breathe in as you take a side angle. Breathe out, really lengthen through the left side of the body. Breathe in. Notice I haven't moved the legs. I'm just moving from the waist. Breathe out. Breathe in. And stretch all the way through the left side on the out breath. When you've got a really firm foundation, a really good foundation, then you can flow from there. You've got that stability and your balance. How much more space can you make? So we'll do this one 
and one more. Remember to breathe out when you get there and make it, make it a bit deeper. Breathe in as you move. Breathe out, sink down through strong legs. Breathe in, just last time. How much more space can you make through that right side of the body? Breathe in as you move and keeping the space through the underside. This lovely length from the outer left foot to the fingers. Nice space between the shoulder and the neck and sink down a little bit deeper through strong legs while you hold for five. One. Two. Stay with the breath. Three. Dig really well. Four. And breathing in. And up beautifully, circle back to two. Relax through the shoulder, palms come up, palms come down. Release the shoulders, palms stay up, hands to the heart. Step gracefully to the front of the mat. So we're still on this side for the moment. You're going to take the left foot back. This is called Pottanasana, side flank pose, pyramid. Take your hands to your hips and draw that left hip forward, right hip back. Square the hips off. Put your hands in the hip creases. And lovely long spine there. So you're lifting the pubic bone. You've got this lovely length from the pubic bone to the throat and keep that. Put your hands on your sacrum and check it's lovely and level. So keep a softness in that right knee, draw up through the thigh. And we want to keep this length through the underside of the body, through the sides of the body. Bend the knee and come up. Relax that leg for a moment. So what are you going to do with your arms in this pose? You could interlink your fingers, reach the arms back. You could fold the arms. You could do reverse prayer, reverse namaste. And if you're doing that, really press the index fingers together and the thumbs, press the palms together. Lift your heart, get that space first through the front of the body, roll the shoulders back. So you're in a back bend before you start. Feel a lovely smile between your shoulders and lengthen through your lumbar spine. And then you hinge. Make sure the hips are squared off. Left hip forward, right hip back. And that might be enough, you might need to keep the knee bent. Otherwise you might start to relax. Your right ribs right in the thigh. And my gaze is over my toes towards the front of the mat. Breathe well for eight. Just starting to shut the gap between my ribs and thigh, between my chest and thigh. And I'm aiming eventually one day to get my chin on my shin, but because it's not there, I'm gazing over my toe. Draw the elbows back a bit more. Push down with the right foot and push back with the right sitting bone. Some of you might take the hands to the earth or have a block. Just do what feels right for you. Let's take four more breaths. Breathing in slowly and breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep and breathing out softly. Breathing in slowly, breathing out softly. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out softly. Well done. Bend the knee to come up safely. Put the hands on the hips. Ease the shoulders out. Take a few rolls. Step to the front of your mat. So we're going to do the other side. I'll stay the other way round so you can see me. So remember this time. <laughs> It's left hand on heart. No, it's right hand on heart, left hand on top. Am I right? Yes, <laughs> I think so. <laughs> Get confused with the left and right. So we go to the left first. Just follow your fingers with your gaze. Remember to rotate out of the waist, the hips stay forward. And roll the shoulder back. Make a little bit more space there. Well done, I did get it right. <laughs> to take the right arm back and stay there. Hip space forward, knees are soft here. You step back with the right leg, okay. And then we open our wings, veer until you sink down through strong legs. Check that front knee is directly over the ankle. 
You should be able to see the big toe, but not the little toe. And the shoulders are over the hips. Let's straighten the front leg and come a wee bit deeper into the pose. Push your palms down. Push your feet into the mat. Just like it's a perforated line between your feet and you want to tear the mat in two. And get that balance of strength and softness, the steer at sukum element. And when we've got that good foundation, good foot alignment, sinking down through strong legs, we don't move the legs, but we can move from the waist. So you breathe in as you reverse the warrior. You breathe out, sink a little bit deeper, don't straighten that front leg. Breathe in, find two. And breathe up, soften, the palm comes up. With the next in breath, you reverse the warrior. That's it, flow with the breath. The breath is the very essence of your uh, a yoga practice. Breathe out, palm comes up. And the in breath takes us back. Breathe out, soften, make it a little bit more juicier. Breathe in and sink. Breathe out, get a little bit deeper, that balance of strength and softness. Breathe out, palm comes up and over you come with the in-breath. And a little bit deeper here. I appreciate how lovely it is to make Space through the sides of the body between the ribs to stretch out that, those muscles between the ribs. And sink. That's lovely. Let's do two more. I think my little doggy's going to have a bark in a minute. So she has an imaginary noise. <laughs> so you have to excuse her if she does. Soften the shoulders. How do your legs feel? <laughs> One more, and we're going to hold it low. So I quite like to look down, that helps me keep my balance, but you can look up, you can slide that hand down a bit further down the leg. Sink a little bit deeper through strong legs. Tone up that back leg. New jive breath, remember if you know it, three more breaths. Breathing in slowly. Breathing out slowly, stay with it. Breathing in soft and deep, breathing out softly. Breathing in slowly, breathing out softly. We're ready to move. The in-breath, we take side angle, Parshvokanasana. And over you're gonna go again on the in-breath, soften on the out-breath. Just let the breath feed your practice. Move, sink a bit lower and soften. This is called Dancing Warrior and it was created by Shiva Rhea, a very well known yoga teacher from the US. Let's do the next one and one more. I can feel it in my legs now. Can you sink a little bit lower? But this will really strengthen you and give you stamina. And hold it there. Five to eight breaths. So don't press too heavy on that front thigh. Zip up those tummy muscles to support you. And if you want to try something different, Maybe lift your left elbow off and push away. We didn't do it the other side, but maybe try it this side. And you've really got to firm up your core and maybe draw up through Mulabanda, the pelvic floor. Stay with the breath, just three more breaths. Breathing in slowly, breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out softly, well done. So all the way back to two. And we're going to step very gracefully to the front and this side. I can feel it in my legs already. <laughs> you step out with your right leg, square the hips off, put the hands on the hips, lift the chest a little back then and get that nice stretch. 
all the way from the pubic bone to the throat. Just check the hips are lovely and squared off here. Drawing that left hip back, right hip forward. Bend the front knee and come up carefully. So what mudra with the hands, with the arms like that, like that, or just have the hands on the hips if it feels better. Or prayer and jali mudra, reverse namaste. Or you can take your hands down to blocks each side of your foot. Get that lift. And then we can reach and we can lengthen. And that might be where you come to, and that's perfectly fine. Push down through that front foot, draw your left hip back, and then if it's right for you, over you come for about eight breath, gaze at your toes. Nestle, work towards nestling your left ribs in the left thigh. Draw the shoulders back. And if you've got the reverse prayer, press the palms together. Especially press the index finger and the thumb, thumb together without getting words muddled up when I'm down here. Let's do four more breaths. In that lovely pause at the end of the out breath, can you go a wee bit deeper? Can you make it a little bit softer? You're doing beautifully there. Two more breaths. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out softly, breathing in slowly, breathing out softly. Bend the front knee and come up with care. So I can really feel that my legs have had a good workout. Come to the front, put your hands in your hip creases, take your feet apart, the outer edges of your feet are level with the edges of your mat. And take a lovely forward bend here. We're going to have giraffe to take us down to the earth. So poor old giraffe, when he has a drink at the waterfall, he has to take his legs very far apart so his long neck can reach. And down he comes. And there he is. And stretch it out. Draw your chest, your ribs towards the earth. Your forehead towards that space between your hands, crown of the head towards the space between your hands. And you push down with your hands, you get this lovely stretch through the sides of the body, through the front of the body. And relax there, you might need to bend the knees and that's fine. It's like a wide-legged dog too. Breathe well, lengthen the neck, relax. And soften. When you create softness, there's more space for your breath to flow. Maybe have a look between your legs and see if those lines are coming. Poor giraffe. He really is at a disadvantage when he's having a drink from the water hole. He's so ungainly. This is when he's at his most vulnerable. And sink a little bit lower. And soften. Breathe well. So it's lovely to do an inversion like this. My hands are slipping on the floor. <laughs> lovely to do an inversion like this because your head hasn't got any pressure on it. You might give your head a nod or a shake or ease out the neck. Let's take a couple more breaths here and really let go. Stretching out your spine. Pushing down with your hands, lengthening through your tail, making that space. Good. Walk in. Well done. You've done really well there. Let's just turn the toes up, bend the knees. Take your left ear over to your left instep and listen to the earth. Stretch the inner thighs. Listen to the earth on the right. Stretch it out. One more to each side. Listen to the earth. Stretch between the inner thighs. One more to the right and hold it there. Hand each side of the right foot, come onto your knees. <laughs> and this is only to take us down to our mats. And we've worked quite hard now at strengthening our legs. Let's work at stretching them. So this video is in two parts. You can stop there if you've got to get back to work if you, and do the leg stretch later. Or you can do it now, or you can just do the leg stretch. <laughs> okay, I'm hoping you can see me. Got my strap to lay down on my mat. Okay, knees bent for now. Draw your right, sorry, draw your right knee into your chest, or your right knee into your chest, lock it there. Just stretch your leg up. 
There's just little circles to ease out the hips. Start nice and tiny. Let your circling around a saucer. Saucer. And then a tea plate. And then a dinner plate as you make them bigger and bigger. Maybe a dustbin lid. And at this point you could straighten the left leg. But that not you might not be so stable. It's up to you. Do what feels right. Start to make the circles as big as you can now. So really get into those hips. Keep the knees soft and go the other way. Like you've got a pencil between your toes and you're drawing a circle in the air. And start to decrease the circles. Start to make them smaller and smaller and smaller. So we've got back to that dustbin lid. Now we're getting back to the dinner plates, the tea plate, and the teeny weeny saucer. Draw your knee in. Let's just put the left foot on the flat mat for now. Take your strap. So you've probably done these before. Take the strap over the ball of the foot or the instep. Hold the strap very, very lightly between your fingers and rest the elbows on the mat. Some of you will keep the left foot on the mat, some will straighten the left leg. But whatever you do, both knees are soft, you're drawing up through the thighs. Breathe well. Flex the right leg, sorry, flex the right foot. Curl the toes towards you. Let's open up the back of that leg and relax with the stretch. So this really is the best way to stretch out your legs. If your hamstrings are tight, that could affect your lower back. It's very nice to practice this a few times a week. It's fairly simple. Take a few more breaths. And if you're clinging out of the strap like this for dear life, you're getting all that tension up through the fingers, up the arms, the shoulders, into your neck, your face, and who wants any more tension in life? We don't do it. There's enough rubbish to deal with. Breathe well. Allow yourself to soften. Just imagine the thigh easing away from you, the shin towards you. So I'm going to take the strap in the right hand and I'm going to put the left foot on the mat now for stability. And have a little shift of my hips over to the left. And I rest the right elbow on the floor and I take the leg out. And I've got a nice settee there to push my foot against, which is great. So it's heel up, toes down, and that's going to get a lovely stretch of that inner thigh, stretching out the adductor muscle. You can open up that knee like that, or you can stretch it up. So if you stretch that leg out, you don't want to be rolling to the right. You want to keep it lovely and active. And drop through the knee, the thigh is soften. Breathe well. See if you can externally rotate that hip a little bit more by toes down, heels up. Maybe put your hand on the left hip so it's not rolling. Stay soft. So we need a balance. We need 50% strength and 50% flexibility. Otherwise we get injurious. And the strong standing postures give us strength and stamina. And this balances it by giving us that flexibility, that strength. Let's put the foot on the mat and take the leg up. So I'm going to press the foot into the mat. Another little hamstring stretch there. Press the left foot into the mat. Shift the over the hips to the right. Take the strap in the left hand and take the leg over. So I just straighten that underneath the leg for now. Should a supine twist here. Press your head into the mat, lift the chest up and spread the shoulders out. And breathe well. So where do you feel that stretch? Breathe in. And breathe out, letting go. Letting go. Letting go in that lovely pause at the end of the out breath. That lovely space at the end of the out. Allowing yourself to soften. Allowing your shoulders to soften. Is your tongue soft in your mouth and your jaw soft and your eyes wide? 
relax. Take a couple more breaths. Breathing in slowly, breathing out slowly, letting go. Well done. Let's come up. Bend the knee. Take the stuff off. Put it to your left side. So see, have a big stretch out there. Does it feel a little bit more stretched out through one through the right side? Put the feet on the mat. Let's take our left leg up. You can hold the back of the thigh or not for these circles. So it's circling from the hips, not the ankle. Weenie circles, that saucer, the tea plate. I can straighten the leg if it feels better for you. But stay steady. Let's start to get to the dustbin lid. The big wheel. And see, does it feel any different this side? What does that hip feel like? Yoga is all about exploring, you know. Taking time to explore your body, let's reverse. We never do, do we? We rush from one task to another. So good to take half an hour in the day just to Take care of yourself and your body. Start to make the circles smaller and smaller. Come to that dustbin lid. The dinner plate. The tea plate. And that tiny saucer beneath the air. I'm going to put the right foot on the mat for now. And take my strap, burn the left knee and take the strap. Maybe over the ball of the foot. Let the strap just run through your fingers. Relax the elbows on the mat. And think about thigh away from your shin towards you. Open the back of the knee, but keep the knee soft. Breathe well. Some feet are straight and the other one. If you have both these feet flexed, and try to relax that right front thigh. Just imagine there's a big weight on it. <laughs> Easing it down. In some styles of yoga, you'd have sandbags, which is lovely to place on your thigh. <laughs> really supportive. Flex both feet and relax. Remember to relax all the way through the body. Don't grip the strap. So yoga's really, it's really more about unraveling, undoing, isn't it? Getting rid of all those old niggly bits, those tight, tense, tired winter muscles, or that tension that's built up. It's about going back to when we were younger, when we were children, and we were so flexible. Getting rid of all that stuff in the mind as well. Stuff in the body, stuff in the mind that we don't need, unraveling. Let's just put the right foot on the mat. Take the strap in the left hand, open up that hip, so externally rotating the hip, toes down, heels up and rest the elbow down. I might just externally rotate the right hip a bit, so that might be an idea. Breathe well. Some of you will straighten the leg, but just check the hips are facing up to the sky like spotlights. Stay with the breath. Just relaxing in that lovely pause at the end of the app. That space where you can let go and you can soften. Eyes wide, jaw relaxed, not holding anywhere. Couple more breaths. Breathing in soft and deep. Breathing out soft. Breathing in slowly, breathing out softly. Stretch the leg up, put the foot on the mat, have a shifty over to the left. Take another little stretch through that left leg. What does it feel like? Take the strap in the right hand and take it across. So I've got a roll of carpet to rest my leg on there. But press the head into the mat, spread the shoulders out and stretch out. You could look towards the left if you want. And breathe well. So it's a lovely stretch for the low back here, isn't it? Feel it in the sacrum.
um, maybe walk the foot up a wee bit more. Hopefully that feels good. Stay with the breath. Following the mantra of your breath, you can reach your toe, you can hold your toe. Breathing in slowly, breathing out slowly. Breathing in soft and deep, breathing out softly. Starting to slow down the breath, slow down the thoughts. Letting go. And sometimes I get a lovely click when I do these twists. I feel so good. One more breath, breathing in and breathing out, letting go. Come all the way up, take the knee to the chest, release the strap. Both feet on the mat, soles of the feet together. Just take a little rock from side to side and let it all go. How are you feeling? Your body, your breath, your brain. Allow yourself to soften. On each heart breath, allow yourself to let go into the mat. Feeling the support of the mat, letting the earth hold you and support you. Relaxing all your muscles. Creating space. More space for your body. More space for your breath. More space for your brain. And you're very welcome to stay here and relax. But if you need to come up and carry on with your day, just take your time and come up slowly and have a lovely, lovely rest of the day. And I'll leave you there with that. Until next time.